Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to go ahead and get started with a praise and worship, but first with a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for a brand new birth you have allowed us to see, God. We ask you to come into this place, Lord, and let your presence reign in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. For surely and truly, when they said unto me, Amen, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, Let's go into the house of the Lord. Let us now sing together, Amen, what we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of life, and life everlasting. Dear gracious and almighty Father, most holy and wise God that is in heaven, the God that was there in the beginning and the one that would be there in the end, the one, O oh Father, that you told us is the Alpha and the Omega, the one, O oh Lord, that we know to be the first and the last. Lord, we are coming right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, with a humble heart, a humble mind, and Lord, a mind that is stayed upon Thee. Thank You, dear Lord, for Father God, Your goodness and for Your mercy. Lord, coming, O oh Father God, to say thank You for You have been good to us. Lord, whereas you have been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Thank you, dear Lord God, for life, for health, and strength, and even the reasonable portion that you have given unto us. Touch us today, O oh Lord. Touch us, O oh Father God, that only you can, O oh Lord. For Lord God Almighty, you have already done that. But Lord, even right now, we ask, O oh God, a special touch in the name of Jesus to quicken our hearts. Lord, Father God, to allow us even on today to worship you in the beauty of holiness. For Lord, you are deserving, O oh Father God, of our praise. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord, and God Almighty, we worship you, for you are Almighty God. Now, Lord, here we are. Father God, Lord, coming now, dear God, to the throne of mercy, I ask you, Lord, that, Father God, you will first bless this worship soon. Thank you, Lord, for Father God being with us and to meet us here, O oh Lord. Whereas, O oh Father God, that, Lord, we can lift up holy hands and to say, Thank you, Lord, for you have been right there every step of the way. O oh Lord, we want to glorify you right now and to say, Thank you, Lord, for being with us. In the name of Jesus. Lord, bless those that are here right now. Lord, we may be few in numbers, but Lord, God Almighty, Lord, I believe, oh God Almighty, that you are here with us, and that's reason enough to lift our hands to you and to say thank you, Lord, just to God give you a hallelujah praise. Oh, Lord, God Almighty, we want to shout hallelujah and glory, oh God is your name in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we ask you that you look upon our church family, God. Each and every family that is represented. 
Lord, I'm asking, God, that you will look up and down the road right now, God. And, Father, God, I'm asking you to touch every member, oh, God, from our seniors down to the youngest child, oh, God. Lord, I'm asking God that you will continue, oh Lord, to bless us in a mighty way, oh God, that Father God Almighty will continue to join together and have love one for another, God, that Lord God Almighty will show the love that Jesus have loved to us, loved us, oh God, whereby he came and died for us, that Lord, we may have a right to the tree of life. Thank you, God, for ever, member, Lord. Lord, I'm praying, oh God, even for our sick members right now, God. You know each and every one, oh God, where they lay right now, God, Lord. The ones that may be in the sick bed, God. Lord, even the one that may be in a wheelchair, God, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Even for Helen Musgrave that, Lord, thought it not robbery, God, to, oh Lord, to walk in here this moment. And touch her right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, as much of others, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, we need you today. We need you in a mighty way. And we give you glory. Lord, we ask, oh, God, that you will look upon our nation. That, Lord, you will allow your blessings to befall all those that are in leadership. God, from the president down to very God, the mayor of this city. Lord, into our communities, Lord, and even within our neighborhood, in the name of Jesus. Let us, oh Father God, be about our brothers and our sisters' business. To stand in the gap for Lord, somebody need to hear that you are still in the blessing business. And no matter what it is that we're going through, that you be right there for somebody needs you right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch and guide. Bless and lead, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, when you have done all. Lord, we'll be so careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And the church of God will say amen. amen. And amen again. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, 
said, please, I'm in trouble. The boy said, please, I'm in trouble. He said, stop being stupid. The boy said, stop being stupid. He said, you so ugly. The boy said, you so ugly. And about that time, his father reached down and pulled him up. And he said, dad, there is somebody crazy out there. He said, I was ugly, call me all kinds of names. He said, son, that was an echo. He said, it's about like light. Whatever you put out, it's what comes back to you. Amen. Amen. So, my message for you all today is to have a positive attitude. Amen. Give a smile. Mm -hmm. A positive attitude will come back to you. Amen. When you give a smile, it will come back to you. Amen. And when Amen. somebody do something for you, say thank you. Amen. You ever did something for somebody and they didn't even say thank you, they act like it didn't matter? The next time you wanted to do something for him, you didn't do it, right? Well, it's the same with God. We have to thank him and thank others. Be polite, be, current, be um, courteous, and study hard. Treat your teachers with respect, and they will respect you back. So, have a nice day. message and song. This great amen. Uh, praise team is coming. Uh, amen. What am I missing? Amen. We got a solo. Amen. All right. Amen. I thought I was the only one that did solos. Amen. Amen. That's all right. Lamar Young is coming to bless us all today. So let's receive him by saying amen. Amen.
it would have been that one. God be the glory. And I say to you tomorrow, Hurry up and answer the call of the Lord. Hurry up and answer the call of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all I can say. Hallelujah. You can do it right here in Evans. Amen. You can do it right here in Evans. We need some young men. We need some young ladies. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They're coming. We thank God for the, the Ingrams that joined on last week. Amen. Glory be to God. Great friends of ours. More than all, great friends of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And anyone that's a friend of the Lord is a friend of mine. Amen. 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 Well, we thank God. Amen. And the Lord is adding to the church. Amen. Maybe not as fast as we are looking for it, but that's still, amen. We know they're coming. Amen. 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 We're going to look out one day and we ain't going to be able to have enough pews to hold them. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, that's what the Lord has sown in my spirit. No, someone is going to say, well, no, it ain't that way. No, no, no. Amen. The Lord has shown me numbers. Amen. And it's up to you to believe it. Amen. And help in rising up that, amen, that, 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 that generation, amen, that God is looking for. Amen. In the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, today's scripture will come from the book of Matthews. I said Matthews. Matthew. Amen. Oftentimes we say the word Matthews, but it's really, in essence, the book of Matthew. From, uh, amen, the disciple, amen, uh, Matthew. He penned these words in the uh, sixth chapter of the book of Matthew, and amen. The 16th through the 18th verse. This is a conti uh, continuation of of a very long sermon that Jesus preached. Amen. It covered almost three chapters. But that's all right. When Jesus speaks, everybody ought to listen. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, there was an old saying that said, when he uh, uh, speaks, <laughs> everybody listens. But when Jesus speaks, everybody ought to listen. And this, uh, these three verses on, in the uh, 16th and the 18th verse are words that he spoke on the, uh, at the Sermon on the Mount. He said, moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have uh, their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. God's words for God's people and the church of God say amen. amen. Father, help that we need. Lord, touch the words that I speak. <clears throat> that that word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in thine sight. My strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as a hypocrite or of a sad countenance. I titled this message a fast message. Amen. See, y'all always asking for a fast message. 
So here's a fast message. Not necessarily in the way that you may want it. For Webster defined fast as moving or able to move to operate, function, or take effect quickly. Quick, swift, rapid, as a fast horse or a fast pain reliever, a fast thinker, done in comparatively little time, taking a comparatively short time, a fast race, fast work, indicating a time in advance of the correct time. Now that's Webster's definition of the word fast. Well, that will not apply to this message. It's a fast message. All of this is applicable if you're racing horses when you talk about fast. But this message is not about speed. I did not come to talk about running races. But I stopped by just for a little while to tell you that God didn't create the world in one day. Hmm? The Bible says the race is not given to the swift, but amen to the one that endures to the end. Yeah. Oh, y'all not saying amen to that. Amen. So sometimes we want a quick word. Amen. Uh, amen. We can have all kinds of stuff going on, but when the preachers stand up, I want a fast message. Well, this message, amen, is about fasting and preparing your heart and your soul. You may be ready to blaze the trail. You're looking for a fast word and you're looking for a fast fix. But the Bible tells us that it's those that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah said in the 40th chapter and the 48th, through the, excuse me, the 28th through the 31st verse, he tells us that God is everlasting. He is Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. Fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings uh, like eagles, and they shall run and not weary, and they shall walk and not faint. In other words, we ought to be able to wait on the Lord uh, and wait on the Lord in a way that you may be blessed of the Lord, but some things uh, come by only fasting and what? Prayer. Are y'all with me today? Amen. In other words, God work in his own time and not in our time. Hmm? He may not come when you want him, but he will sure enough be on time. Amen. Am I right about that? Amen. We're going through so much and we are wondering why there is not a change. Well, I stopped by to tell you, your change is coming. You have to wait on it. Amen. You're going through trial. You're going through tribulation. You feel like you're sick. Amen. And it seems like your change isn't coming. But I stopped by to let you know you got to wait on the Lord. For God knows uh, change come by fasting uh, and uh, praying. Amen. Are y'all with me right now? Amen. You know, amen. Some people are still going down the Rayford Road. 
Amen. To see Sister Mary. But I want to tell you today, uh, stop in the church and see the almighty God. Come on now, somebody. Call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I know where your mind just went. Now, where is Sister Mary? <laughs> Ride uh, Rafe and Road, you'll see it. Amen. Or you can dial it up on the uh, telephone and Amen. Have some uh, healing water shipped to you. But call on the name of Jesus. Amen. How about preaching today? Amen. I'm telling you something that we need to know. Amen. Amen. A fast message. Amen. 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 I want to say I'm almost done. Amen. In this my, I said I almost. Amen. <laughs> Let's get it right, okay? Don't twist things up. Amen. In other words, God work in this time. In this microwave age, we need a fast message. But not a message that is given fastly, if you will, but a message that means something. Am I right about it? One that will convince your mind and convict your heart to let you know that God is still on the throne and that Jesus Christ has all power in his hands. Uh, do I have a witness up in here? Amen. Mm. It's not about speed, but about understanding that something comes only by prayer and fasting. What am I saying? That when they brought the young man, for this is a story about a young man where the disciples, amen, was uh, 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 trying, I would imagine, in every way that they can, amen, to lay hands on this young man and to heal this young man who was afflicted and afflicted uh, by, amen, a very foul spirit. Uh, but they brought him uh, to Jesus uh, and said to Jesus, uh, why it is that we cannot heal this young man and Jesus said to him, some things only come uh, by praying uh, and fasting. Uh, I'm talking about a fast message today. Hallelujah. Uh, when was the last time we laid down our forks? Uh, when was the last time we laid down our plate? When was the last time you got prostrate before the Almighty God and said, Lord, I need a change uh, in my life? Oh, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Well, you say, preacher, hmm, it seems like, amen, nothing is going my way. Have you ever felt like that? Things just ain't going my way. God knows, amen, I know exactly what you're saying. Amen, I was given this charge in 2018 on the month of uh, November, amen, on the 12th or the 13th day of that year, amen, and I thought God was going to do a great thing, amen, hallelujah, that I was getting ready to go to the, amen, the Evans Metro Metropolitan Church, amen, the historic church of our denomination, and got there only to find out that the church was broken down, busted up, uh, oh, Lord God Almighty, you see now, restoration uh, cannot come quick enough. Uh, but the Lord says, wait. Uh, have my patience. Uh, be right there. Uh, you continue to pray uh, for all you naysayers out there. Continue to pray. Lift up the name of the Lord and watch God uh, begin to change things. Uh, can I get a witness in here that God will? Yes. Have you been praying? Have you been fasting? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you say it seems like nothing is going your way, Paul said in the book of Ephesians 6 and 18, he said, pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. In other words, it's more than just coming out of your mouth, but get your heart in the right place uh, and go to God in prayer. Lay down uh, before the Lord and say, thank God uh, for the spirit of God, uh, for he gave me liberty that I may pray that I may fast uh, in the name of Jesus hallelujah y'all got quiet on me yeah. amen I might have hit a chord <laughs> amen I might have hit a chord somewhere right. okay 
You may say, preacher, I done took it to the Lord, and he hasn't changed it. Well, Paul says in 1 Thessalonians, he said, pray without ceasing. Amen. Amen. Pray without ceasing. Amen. What does that mean? It means, amen, every moment that you get, that you can look to heaven, you will say, Lord, I thank you for life. I thank you, God, for what you're doing right now. Uh, Lord, it may not seem like things are going my way, but I know my change is coming. Uh, do I have a witness in here? Uh, you've been praying. Uh, you know, Lord God Almighty, uh, you've been wanting things uh, to come uh, to you right then and there, uh, but you got to stay uh, on your knees. Uh, where are those knees? Uh, and let God uh, have his way. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pray without ceasing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but God knows everything that come my way. I said, Lord, <laughs> Lord, I give this one to you. Huh? Lord, I, I, I know I got a witness in here. Amen. I don't care who it is or what it is. I'm going to say, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Because I got my eyes open uh, and looking at you. That does not say uh, I am not praying. Amen. I'm lifting up the name of the Lord. And so we must be. Amen. Amen. You say, preacher, I done tried everything. Oh, Lord God Almighty. We done did everything. Well, amen. Well, when you leave Sister Mary, call on the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. For, amen, the Bible tells us if thou believe, all things are possible. Amen. But only things come by fasting and praying. Amen. Amen. You know, Jesus said in the text, Matthew 6 and 16, Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites mm, of a sad countenance, for they discover, uh, disfigure their faces, and they may appear, or that they may appear unto men as to facts. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Amen. Hallelujah. What am I saying to you? If you came looking for a fast message, you got one. <laughs> Amen? Amen? You got a fast message. Mm -hmm. Amen. For I am going to my seat. But before I go to my seat, what shall I say to you? I anoint your head. Oh, y'all didn't hear that one. I anoint your head. I anoint your head. What I mean by anoint your head, I'm not talking about telling uh, about pouring a Western uh, cooking oil on your head. Hallelujah. But you anoint your head by reading God's word and understanding that the word of God is very powerful. It will change your mind. Secondly, wash your face. Uh, in other words, that ugly look, as Sister Linda talked about, amen. You ought to smile every now and then and let somebody know that God is still uh, on the throne and Jesus Christ will save your soul. Amen. Wash your face. Amen. Hallelujah. And whatever you do for the Lord, do it in secret. Are y'all with me right now? Amen. You know, we serve a God who is instant in prayer. Can I get an amen to that? Amen. Uh, we serve a God that is instant in a time of trouble. Do you believe that? Yeah. Uh, when we need him, he's very near us, isn't he? Amen. He's here right now. Oh, I'm getting ready to go to my seat, but hallelujah, before I go to my seat, amen, I got to hear you say hallelujah. You ought to look to, uh, to somebody and say, God is still on the throne. Jesus is still in charge. Come on now, somebody. He said, amen, you ought to be able to hold on uh, to God's unchanging hand, for he is right here and right now. Uh, I'm speaking to somebody. You may not be here. You may be out in Facebook land, but no one understands. Uh, he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you, but you got to talk to him. you got to communicate with him. Pray and thank God. Uh, and every now and then, now, you need to pass. Uh, turn down your plate. Hallelujah. Quit digging your grave uh, with a fork. Uh, but lay it down uh, and tell God uh, he is all right. Uh, he's all right. Uh, in the name of Jesus. He's all right. He's all right. 
He's all right. He's all right. You wanted a fast message? You got it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm through with you. Glory, glory be to God. Glory, glory. Amen. Amen. You ought to tell somebody, I got a fast message today. Amen. The preacher stood up. Amen. He spoke up. Amen. And he quit. Amen. And sat down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some things come only by fasting and prayer. Amen. Did y'all hear that? Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes we worry ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm probably the number one worrier in this place. I'm the number one worrier in this place. I, I mean, if the truth be known, I'm telling you the truth. I'm the number one worrier. You know why? I worry about every last one of you all. Amen. Every day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord gave me 233 souls Amen. to lead. Hallelujah. Amen. So every day I get up and I begin to go over the road. Mm. Right, Hallelujah. And I see every last one of you. All right. I know exactly what y'all look like. All right. I'll pick you all out out of a million people. I'll pick you right out. Because I know what you look like. And don't talk because I know exactly how you talk. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I know exactly how you talk. Amen. I even know how tomorrow sing. <laughs> Amen. But hallelujah, I'm concerned more so than I am worried. I worry and I'm concerned about your souls. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. I believe it is, amen, presiding elder Gregory used to say when he go to heaven, hallelujah, and the Lord begin to call the roll, that he'll, everyone will be able to answer. Here I am, Lord. Here I am. And for him to reply, well done, Amen. my good and faithful servant. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let your concern be walking right with the Lord. Right. Doing right yes. with the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because just like Sister Linda said, and I'm trying to sit down, but just like Sister Linda said in her a little speech to the children today, life it's like an echo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What you say out of your mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone today. But what comes out of your mouth <laughs> is what will hit your ear. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So when you think you're doing a service for someone by bringing them down, amen, you rest assured, it's coming back your way. Yes, and we all have to stand before the master. Yes. And we all want to hear him say, well done, Amen. my good and faithful servant. Can you all say a fast message? A fast message. You got one. Get it right with the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, amen, if you have not let made Jesus your choice. Possibly, amen, that you have not given your life. Amen to the Lord. Then today's your choice. Perhaps it is that you've been walking along this way. Circumstances have got you down. Hmm? Things are not going right on the job. Things are not going right in the family. Hey, man, God knows. Hallelujah. You know, Evans have experienced so much in the last three years. And I'm speaking to the membership now. And that is that, amen, we have experienced so much. The destruction or the devastation of our sanctuary. 
And we have buried 20 members in three years. Hallelujah. It's prayer time, y'all. It's prayer time. But God bless you all. But if there be one that will come today to rekindle your love with the Lord. The doors of the church is also open, amen, if it is that you would like to come and join with us. Amen. Hallelujah. So if it is and there is one, then come. Hallelujah. At this time. Amen. Hearing and see none, Lord, I ask of God that you would touch everyone that's under the sound of my voice, whether in person or, Father God, on social media. But, Lord, wherever they are, I ask, O oh God, thy blessings upon each one of them. Lord, Father God, I ask that you will anoint them from the crown of their head down to the very soles of their feet. Lord, I ask that you will give them good health. Father God, strength and courage for the day and the days to come. In the mighty name of Jesus. For every family, Every boy, every girl, every man, and every woman, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, amen. We are getting ready now to have communion, amen. We are going to, amen, cut our broadcast at this time, so may the Lord be with you, may the Lord keep you, and cause his face to smile upon you, and to give you peace.